I'm gonna have to get a gender reveal cupcake. <laughs> it's fun. I can do that. I love that. Ooh, this is so fun. I love this. I love this video. I could do this every day. This is my scavenger hunt, and I'm so excited. All right. Anything fall. Hello and welcome to another edition of Turning YouTube Trends Bookish. I'm your host Alex. This is my channel Pucks of Paperbacks and today I am going to have book tours control my day. I've been obsessed with watching scavenger hunt videos and I've just wanted to do a scavenger hunt and there is a video series that I've been watching where someone has YouTubers control their day. So I decided to take it upon myself and have my booktube friends control my day. I will have all of their links down below. Thank you so much to them for taking time out of their day to film a video for me so I can have a chaotic day. <laughs> I really appreciate it and I'll talk more about them when I watch their videos, but it is currently 10 a.m. I have my coffee because I don't think any of them have coffee and I just need coffee. <laughs> Here we have my Charlie Brown mug. It is the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown just for fall. And I'm just gonna get right into it. What I would like to get done today is to try and get up my autumn TBR. I'm gonna film it after this because I did film it, but I don't like how it looked. It was just unorganized and I just wanna have a better video. So I need to do that and I need to finish up my bookmarks for Patreon. If if you missed it, from August 16th to September 16th, I had a special offer on my Patreon where if you signed up on any of the tiers, you received a bookmark. And I had so much fun with that and it worked out very well. I am two patrons away from 20. So today I am going to finish up the international bookmarks and get them sent out on Monday. So those are my plans for the day. I don't really have much else besides getting a video up and getting my bookmarks finished. So I am just gonna get started with the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and hit subscribe because I make a lot of videos like this. So if you want to see more YouTube trends turn bookish, I'll leave a playlist for you to watch after this video. So I'm going to start out with my book talk friends. I told them that they're the honorary book talkers in this video. If you wanna follow trans creators on book talk, these are my friends Asher Reed and Ash J. They have great recommendations. I just love their content. Definitely go give them a follow. They're awesome. And I'm going to say that before they give me a challenge. <laughs> hey Alex, so my activity for you is to go out and get a coffee. Did I not just say, oh, I don't think anyone... Replay the clip because I don't think any of them have coffee. Listen, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with doing that. I can definitely do that and I have to see what his order is. If you want to try my coffee order, I have already sent it to you. I like, okay, I like that. Okay, next I'm gonna do Ash J just to see what we have here. Hi, it's the picture of Ash J here and my challenge for you today is to dance around your kitchen while you're making your breakfast because that is the thing that I like to do every morning and it's the best way to start the day. I, lo I actually love that. I love that I started with theirs because it just worked for breakfast because it's 10.32 right now. I usually don't eat breakfast, so this will be fun. Um, let me figure out what I'm going to make for breakfast and then I will do both of these challenges. Um, I'm going to think on the coffee one because maybe I'll go out later and get one. So I've talked about this before, I think, but our refrigerator is basically on its last leg. We can't put a lot of things in it, so I'm just working with what I have. I'm going to make some bacon. And I'm going to make a bagel. I'm gonna listen to some Denton and make breakfast and dance, so let's get started.
I just edited my video. I think I'm just gonna post it tomorrow. It is 1.30. I'm going to, I guess, just listen to the rest of the clips. I have a couple that I'll save for tonight, um, like this evening, but I do have one from Beck, and Beck actually told me to open this when I'm hungry. And well, I ate breakfast, so now I need lunch, so I'm going to open Beck's, Kathy's, and Chloe's. Hey, Alex. For this challenge, I'm going to need you to think about the book that you're reading, or the one that you just got done with. I want you to base your next snack or meal decision off of that book. That could be some- Something that they ate in the book, something on the cover. You could base it off what you think one of the characters would eat. Get creative with it, and let us know why you chose what you did. Okay, Beck is speaking my language, and I am so excited for this. However, <laughs> I am in the middle of like four books, so I'm just gonna pick the one that I like most recently read. So let's go and do that. So in my TBR video, I just said that I'm in the middle of Anna on the Edge. So let me see if they ate anything on the last page. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, there's no bookmark. Okay, let's see. Well, what do you know? On page 82, uh, we have a line that says, I study what's left of my cupcake. Now, let's figure out what kind of cupcake. Okay, so it says, I peer in pastries line the middle shelf in rows of frosted blues and pinks. I reach for a cupcake swirled with a blend of both colors. What are they for? Wow, what foreshadowing? And like what a metaphor that is right there. Wow, beautiful. Um, but I'm gonna have to get a gender reveal cupcake. <laughs> That is actually the funniest thing ever. Okay, so hopefully the bakery's open. I don't know if the bakery's gonna be still open. They close at five. It's 1.30. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write this down. <laughs> well, I guess it's probably like a vanilla cupcake, but that's gonna be a weird request. <laughs> so I'm just gonna see what they have if, um, because you know, they'll probably have some cupcakes already out there. So thank you, Beck. What a good idea that was. Um, okay, uh, next. Hello, Alex. So my challenge for you is, is to go to Starbucks and to buy a Fox Cake Pop because, you know, we love our foxes here in this household. Um, so if you don't want to do that... Like, how did I think nobody was going to give me coffee? So if you don't want to do that, you don't, like... You don't have two dollars. I think they're like two dollars at the most. Um, or you don't like cake pops. Or maybe they're sold out. Maybe you went all the way to Starbucks and they're sold out of Fox cake pops. I don't want to go all the way to Starbucks and have them be sold out. I'll probably have to call and ask. The other thing you can do is you can go outside. Doesn't matter where. I literally do not care where. Just as long as you're in the sun. Uh, and read, because uh, I am vitamin D deficient, <laughs> meaning hey, I, do I don't get enough vitamin D because I don't go out in the sun enough, so uh, I'm going to uh, soak up the vitamin D you get from reading in the sun. I am totally the same way. I don't go outside, so that's a good one. I'm going to try and do both and see which one I succeed at. Um, because I really haven't gotten a lot of reading done, so that's perfect. So, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy your challenges. Okay, next. I like this. I like this very much. Okay, next is from Kathy. Hi, Alex's channel. It's Kathy from the channel Kathy Trit Hardware. I mostly talk about books, but recently there have been a lot of travel vlogs because I just got back from a cross-Canada tour. That actually comes into play with... Yes, go and watch her stuff. I don't want to go on a cross 
country or tourist. This weekend, Alex, I want you to go to a tourist destination around where you live. You don't have to go inside. I'm not telling you to get masked up and go inside a pandemic written place. I'm just saying somewhere around where you live, there's gotta be something cool in touristry you can show us. So if it's a statue or- I love that. Oh, I'm gonna have to think about that. Oh, that's fun. Um, I mean, I am not in Philadelphia. I don't think I'm going to go into Philadelphia, um, especially right now. Um, because then I have to get a train and all like that, but I can see if anything near me is. I mean, I am near where the Battle of um, Crooked Billet was, so I can definitely try and find things, especially in um, the town that I'm going to go to, so that's fun. I can do that. I love that. Oh, this is so fun. I love this. I love this video. I could do this every day. Uh, no, I couldn't, but I would love to do this again. So like and subscribe for a part two because this is so fun. Next, we have Chloe and Angel. My name is Chloe from the booktube channel Brunette Bibliophile. And Alex, today I am going to challenge you to find the most crazy fall autumnal item that you can. Whether it be an insane pumpkin spice flavored item or whatnot. I'm gonna leave it open to your interpretation. I'm going all over the place here, which is fine with me. I love that. Listen, I never do shit, so this is why I want to do a scavenger hunt. This is my scavenger hunt, and I'm so excited. Okay, I see you, Chloe. I got it. But go out there and find something insanely quintessential autumn. <laughs> Yo, this is so fun. Okay, here's Angel. Hi, Alex. So, activities. What can I make you do? I'm gonna give you a few in case you don't have options to get to all of these things. But the first thing for you to do would be to either like make or order your favorite type of food, dessert, or like an actual meal. Okay, see, Angel is being nice to me. She's being nice. I like that. Okay. My favorite thing, that's what I'm gonna do for dinner. Or maybe it's a drink, that would be nice, or like a little snack. Or if you need like a reading activity, I would say go read 20 pages of that book that you're putting off reading. <laughs> okay, well listen, if I go outside and read, I'll read 20 pages of my book. <laughs> or if you want just like a nice relaxing activity even, you can go sit down and just like have like a nice 10 or 15 minute meditative, like, send to yourself, relax, nice self-care moment. And then I guess, last little challenge or activity I can give you is to go and watch that YouTube video or Netflix show or whatever digital piece of content that you've been putting off because you think you have something better you should be doing, when in reality you kind of really want to go watch that thing online. You would think I would be watching Squid Game or Squid Games, I think it's called, and I would like to watch that, but I like my baking competition shows, so maybe I'll finish watching Bake Squad. Honestly, this helps me so much because I have been putting off reading. <laughs> um, I have. Just to watch YouTube, basically. I prioritize more, like, digital content um, than actually reading, which is totally fine, but I love the reading challenges, so thank you. I think I'm gonna need that after all of like the hijinks I'm gonna be going, but thank you everyone so much for sending in a video. Just thank you for taking time out of your day to send me a video. I really appreciate it. Um, I would love to turn this into a series. It's so fun. I've just been wanting to do a scavenger hunt and this is so fun. And I am going to now go get changed, go walk into town and complete my scavenger hunt list <laughs> um and thank you i really appreciate it go and subscribe to everybody in this video i appreciate them so much and i'll definitely do a part two just for my own sake because this is so fun but also if you enjoy it give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this i am trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year and i would love if you would help me do that i'm gonna go get dressed and start walking into town. So 
they didn't have a cupcake that I would be able to get, um, just because they're all pre-made and all, so I just got a cupcake that I would want. And it's caramel and chocolate and it's good. Secure the bag, literally. My favorite at Panada Place. I have the Page 102 is 20 pages red. This is my landmark. This is like the best thing I can do. Here was fought the Battle of Crooked Billet. It's really not something that like people go to, but I would say it's a landmark. And here is a fact. And more on that later. So Chloe has stopped me. I have no idea what to get. So I'm crossing the street to go to Dairy Queen because they're my last resort. They have a pumpkin pie blizzard and I'm just gonna try it because it just sounds weird and that's all I've got. They're, they also have a pecan pie but I don't like pecans so I'm good. We're going with the pumpkin pie blizzard. I don't think it deserves rights. <laughs> the pumpkin pie blizzard. This is the weirdest thing I could find. I was stumped by this challenge, so go Chloe. I've never had pumpkin ice cream before, and I just don't know if I'm gonna like it. I don't think I will, but kind of hoping that I will, because I'm hot, and I would really appreciate this right now. Um, maybe not if it was pumpkin flavored, but, but I do like, oh my god, did it melt already? Oh my god, I think it already melted, so... It tastes like a pumpkin pie, and it's weird. Like, it tastes exactly like a pumpkin pie, but I'm gonna have to freeze it a little bit. I do like that they add whipped cream and nutmeg, but I'm gonna have to freeze it first. <laughs> so, because it's my video, I am going to change up the rules a little bit and extend this to tomorrow so it'll be booktubers and book talkers control my weekend rather than control my day because I can't get everything done in one day. It's impossible. Um, but I am going to get my Fox Cake Bop tomorrow and I am going to get Asher Reed's coffee order. He said that he goes to Dunkin' for it, so I'm going to do that tomorrow just because it's just going to be easier. Um, and I need a rest because I'm tired from walking. I walked 2.7 miles today, so I'm a little bit tired. Um, but let's check off what I have done. I found a tourist destination, kind of. I found like a little like a landmark kind of thing in my town which was there was the sign that talked about why uh this town is significant it does have a lot of historical elements there's a lot of buildings that are not allowed to be touched because they are historical um the battle of crooked billet happened here hats were manufactured here for soldiers during the Revolutionary War, which is really significant because in high school, my mascot were hats. They were top hats. And I never knew why. I was like, that's so weird. So my mascot was historically irrelevant. I just didn't know it at the time, which like they don't really, I think they taught it more in elementary school and stuff, but I didn't go to elementary school here. Um, I went only went to high school here. so. That's the only thing I know, but I think that's still cool. I think it's a cool landmark to have. Um, a lot of stuff like that is around my town. Um, so there he goes. That I found my weird fall item, um, which I'm not going to cross off yet because I haven't tried it yet, but I did find it. Um, I need the Fox Cake Pop. Um, I got my favorite meal are my empanadas. I love these empanadas. I talk about them and I ate them in my video where I swapped my screen time for reading time. It is such a good place. They are local and they're a small business and they've only opened this year and I love them so much so far. I get the buffalo chicken empanada and the cheesesteak one 
totally great, but I'm going to save these for later as well. That is it for right now, and I will be back when I have my fall item frozen enough for me to eat. I am going to do Angel's second prompt, and that is to just watch some things that I like. There's some YouTube videos I want to watch, and I'm going to go and do that, and I will be back later. It's 8.16, and I'm going to try this. <laughs> I just started editing the video and I'm really glad I did this because I really have not had a lot of fun making videos in a long time. So this is more of like my niche, but it's hard to execute these kind of videos all the time. Um, but I'm excited I did this. So I'm definitely going to do a part two, but right now I'm going to try this. Okay. tastes like a pumpkin pie and it's weird it's good I don't know if I would ever get it like personally but I think it's fine there's actually crust and as much as I love a pumpkin pie um <laughs> I like thought that was going to happen. Like, I was like, oh no, there's no way. Like, there's no way that there's actually going to be pieces of pumpkin pie. There is. There's pieces of pumpkin pie in here. <laughs> it's weird. Well, I wasn't sure if it was bizarre enough, but I think that this definitely qualifies for what Chloe was asking me. <laughs> it's weird. That's all. <laughs> now I'm going to go finish editing the video and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, happy Sunday. It is the last day of this challenge and I have two uh, things to complete and I'm about to call Target and ask if they have a Fox Cake Pop. If not, I already did one of the challenges that Xander gave me so it's all good but I would like to try and get this and then later I'm going to get the coffee order and finish out this video. I just got back from a walk, so that's why my face is super red, um, but let's just do it. Um, yeah, I was just asking if you have a Fox cake pop by any chance. Oh, okay, great, thanks. All right, bye. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> that was so easy. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to Target Starbucks to get a Fox Cake Pop. That was, that was awesome. Hello, <laughs> I went to Target and I found a Fox Cake Pop. So I'm going to try it right now. I know this wasn't on my list, but I also got a book because I can't go to Target and not get a book. Um, but that will be for my book haul. So here it is. Let's eat it. <laughs> it's very good. I'm trying to figure out what flavor it is. I think it's just vanilla, but I'm not sure. So I have technically finished every challenge because when I went to Starbucks, I got a pumpkin cream cold brew, which is one of my favorite seasonal items there. So I have kind of completed every challenge. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like so more people can see this video and check out my description because I will have a link to everyone involved in this video. Thank you so much to everyone who just took time to send me a video and control my weekend. I had so much fun with this video and I am going to start brainstorming for part two. I do have a Patreon that helps me fund fun videos like this because my channel is demonetized. Patreon is the 
the best way to help me make fun videos like this. I am two away from hitting 20 patrons, so if you would like to support me, the link is down below and will be at my end screen. Thank you all for watching till the end of this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite part of the video was, and if you don't feel like leaving a long comment like that, you can comment a cupcake emoji or any bakery item emoji down below so I know that you stayed until the very end. Don't forget to go and follow and subscribe to everyone involved in this video, and I will see you next time.